Hi, this is Kevin Mayo, the Amazing Beer Drinking Man. Uh, and today we're going to be doing Stone Brewing Arrogant Bastard Ale. This is a legendary beer. Every reviewer has tried it. You, kinda, you can't avoid Stone Brewing. They really do some really flavorful beers. And this is quite the, uh, quite the beer. First off, it's 7.2% alcohol by volume. So if this gets all messed up on editing, you'll know why. And I'm doing this on a Friday night, so it's a TGIF Friday beer for me. It's listed as an American Strong Ale, which is kind of a catch-all category. It's not really too much that defines it. Beer Advocate just says a catch-all. Could be barley wines, could be a little bit of everything on it. A lot of people kind of call it an IPA. It's not really an IPA. They've got a really great story on the back where they just kind of tease you and come off as being arrogant. If you can find the bottle of it, pick it up and read it. I'm not going to read it to you now. Uh, but it would be something that would be fun to check out at some other time. Don't know too much about this beer. They don't le release what kind of hops are in it, what kind of malt or anything like that. They don't give you a lot of information on it. So we're going to go ahead and crack it and start getting working on it. Now as always, if you enjoy our reviews, please subscribe to our channel. Please leave some comments. We love to have friends and we love to answer comments. It's pouring quite dark. Got the big 22 ounce bomber here too. Gotta love Fridays. Quite a bit of carbonation, quite a bit of head on this thing. A nice toasty head. Quite dark. Fair amount. Almost a ruby red. I would call that more of a red or a dark amber. And like I said, a very uh, a, a brownish head on it. Quite a bit of head. It's, it's going down fast though. Let's see what we smell. I smell pineapple. Some malt, I'd say probably roasted malt. A hint of the pine citrus from the hops. Okay, I think it's time to go in. I think it's time to go in and check this out, see what we have. Wow. It's quite tasty. In fact, it's very tasty. It's got a real, and it's got that real bitter aftertaste on it too, a lot of IPA type aftertaste on it. I can see why a lot of people call it an IPA, even though they don't call it an IPA. Stone doesn't call it, nor does Beer Advocate. Got a little toasted malt, not overwhelming. In the middle, you get a little bit of the citrus. And then you get a strong aftertaste, a real strong afterkick. I'm not, I shouldn't say afterkick, but after this bitter, an after bitter flavor. Quite strong, actually. The, the, in the back of the throat, the bitter you get in the back of the throat is, is quite strong. This is a heavily hopped beer. Even though I don't call it an IPA, I can see it, that's kind of what it tastes like. I like it. It's fairly well balanced, fairly complex, quite drinkable. Some of the aromas don't really translate into the flavors though, because like I said, I smell more sweetness pineapple and I'm not really tasting that a little bit like I said a little bit of the uh, just a hint of the sweetness and the malt up front and then you get the uh, strong I mean and then you get the citrus in the middle and really the strong afterness bitterness a really strong bitter kick at the end like it a lot I'm gonna give it a nice uh, I'm gonna give it a nice rating matter of fact this bomber's not gonna make it to the end of the night might not even make it to the end of the editing process. So we're going to give this a five caps review. We like it. We drink it. We'd keep drinking it. If I had another bomber, we might drink that too, but I doubt it. I am home, so I don't have to worry about driving. So until next time.
This is the amazing beer drinking man. <laughs>